Hi everyone, this is Shisho. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another gaming video. Now, if you've been around for a while, you'll know that I've been meaning to put up a series for um, how to play crafts, right? And we're gonna link that up with what we're doing in the language of mathematics, specifically series four, where we're talking about units and ratios. But I can't really delve too deep into how we play crafts until I finish series four of the language of mathematics, the units and ratios, which is ratios is what it's all about really, right? Now, since we're on sort of a holding pattern until I get that stuff done, I thought I'd show you a game, which is sort of a mini version of the, of crafts and it is crafts and we're basically calling it street crafts right now. And it's sort of a game that recently made its way into my, a gaming repertoire was sort of introduced to us uh, last time we played Monopoly where um, one of the one of the people we were playing with had to take uh, breaks every now and then so instead of us sort of sitting around waiting for the person to come back uh, to continue the game we sort of started playing uh, uh, street crafts this mini craft version of the game so I want to show you that and at some point we'll um, you know, once we talk about how to play crafts, when we put, once we put that series together and we finish off series four of the language of mathematics, what we'll do, we might come back to this game and add a few different variations to it because uh, the game was introduced to, uh, to me or to us anyway with just uh, the most simple variation. And then we added a little twist to it, uh, sort of give it a couple of more rules in there just to make it a little bit more exciting for us. And obviously, because we're playing with dice, there's a whole bunch of other things you can do as well, right? So what we're gonna do is just talk about the rules of the game um, and not get into the probability aspect of it. Because if you remember, uh, we've already put out a video on the probability distribution of two, um, two six-sided die, right? And that was sort of a um, teaser of what we're gonna talk about when we start talking about how to play craps, talk about the rules and the different type of paybacks and probabilities and the type, different types of strategies you can, you can use to play craps, right? So there's a video out there on the probability distribution of, of a two six-sided die, if you wanna take a look at that. So we're not gonna delve into what the probability is uh, for some of these roles. I'm gonna assume that you've already sort of have a pretty good idea what the probability distribution of uh, two six-sided die is, right? And if you're interested in the game of craps, back in, I guess, 2006 or so, I put a little article together on um, on how to, how to play craps, right? And I've sort of, I have a little bit of experience playing craps. I've spent some time on the craps table, a uh, fair bit of time on the craps table. So I put a article together back in 2006, sort of talking about craps and stuff like this. And what I call it? I call it the... Uh, I called that article, The Seduction of Dice, The Philosophy of Craps, right? And it's sort of a, just a teaser of what the game of craps can be like, right? And it's a, um, I do provide a couple of charts in there of how the probability distribution is spread out for two six-sided die, right? So that article together with uh, the video where we're talking about probability distribution two six-sided die should give you a pretty good idea of how dice play out. Okay. So that's sort of a intro of how, you know, this is playing out with everything else that we've done so far, with three different things that we've done so far anyway, and there's gonna be more coming on, more content coming on regarding craps, okay? Now, let me show you the rules. Let's talk about the rules of street craps. That's what we're calling it now, right? Or I'm assuming that's what it's been called because a lot of people are playing this. There's different variations of this, but this is the variation that's made it to me, right? So let's go over the rules of this game. And then what we're gonna do is play a couple of rounds, okay? Because the best way uh, to learn a game is to play a game, right? Because the rules sometimes can be a little bit vague when we're talking about them, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna distribute the chips. And you need, you need chips to play this game to a certain degree, or you can do it for favors, or you can do it for anything else you wanna play for, right? For us, we're just gonna play with one denomination chips, okay? And you can add different denominations if you need to do change and stuff like this. And I brought up the blue chips here just to keep uh, count of uh, the points 
each person acquires, right? Because we need to sort of keep track of that as well. So I have 100 chips here right now. And 100 chips we can divide into, um, we'll divide it into four, four groups, right? So each person gets 25 chips, right? Each one of these stacks is 10. So if I break a stack into two even pieces, each one is five. So there's 25 chips here. Let's put this person's chips here. There's 25 chips here. Okay. Let's put these chips here. Okay, hopefully that shows up. It's good enough. You got 25 chips here. This person's got 25 chips. Okay. This person's got 25 chips, and I got 25 chips. Okay. So the general gist of the game is this. Okay. Basically, there are five numbers in this game that count for something. Okay. The rest of the numbers are basically non-consequential. Nothing happens in this game. Obviously, we can add variations. We can bet on numbers on the flop. We can bet on numbers repeating and stuff like this, sort of connecting up to the full game, table game of craps. But we're not going to add those variations right now. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to play with two six-sided die, and there's only five numbers that, if they're rolled, something happens in the game. The other numbers, nothing happens. Okay, so generally, whenever you're playing craps, you're always given a choice of, you know, what dice you want to use. So I just roll, I got three fives and two twos. Um, I usually like grabbing sixes. Oh, no, let's grab this one. Don't roll off the table. And here's two sixes. Okay, so we're going to play with two sixes. And usually the way we start the game is we roll to see who goes first. And usually the highest roll person, the person that gets the highest roll gets to go first, right? So I'm going to roll 11. That's not bad. This person rolls 6. You roll, right? You got a 7. This is you. And this person rolls and they get a 7. So I get to go first, right? So we'll put the dice in front of me and I'm just going to put it on 6 again since we're going to start the game, all right? Now, since we're playing with chips, Basically, every person per round does an ante into a pot, right? And right now, because we don't want to use any different color chips, I don't want to mix it up with different denominations, what we're going to do is we're going to put two chips per person per game. Okay, so every person puts two chips into the pot. Okay. So there's eight chips here, and that's in the pot, okay? And I'm just going to put it over here because we're going to roll the dice here. So we don't want the chips getting in the way. Now, name of the game is this. Number 7 and 11 give you a point. Okay. Double 1s and double 6s and 2 and a 1. Basically, 2, 12, and 3 are uh, you lose money on. You have to put money in the table, into the pot again. Okay. The name of the game is this. If you get two points, and a point could be e achieved either by a 7 or by an 11, okay? If you get two points, you win the pot. And the way it works is this. Right now, if I'm rolling first, I get to roll. If I get a 7 or 11, I get a point, okay? And we're going to use the blue chips to keep track of the points, so I get a point. If I get 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, or 10, nothing happens, okay? If I get a 2, a 12, I have to put the equivalent of the ante back into the pot, right? So the pot has a problem, has, has the chance of increasing, right? So if I get a 2 or a 12, I put two chips into the pot, into the game, right? That's a penalty. If I get a 3, which is 2 and a 1 together, right? I put one chip into the pot, right? So those are the five numbers that actually something happens on the table. The other thing that happens is if you get a double, you get to roll again. Okay. So when you start playing the game, the person rolling gets one roll unless they get a double. If they get a double, they get to roll again. Right. 
So we're not going to count these rows. I'm just going to sort of show you the beginning stages of it, and then we'll start off a whole new game, right? Just to get some practice. Then. So if I roll, I get a nine. Nine is not it does nothing happens, right? And then it's the next person. So whoever's rolling first, we always go clockwise, right? And this person rolls, and they get a seven. If they get a seven, they have a point, right? This person rolls, they get a seven. So these get this person gets a point as well, okay? And then this person rolls, gets a six. That's a non-roll, doesn't make a difference in the game. I get a three, I get a penalty of one chip, half the ante into the pot, okay? So that's the way the game is going, okay? Here, let's say that's in there. Now we keep on rolling, and if anybody gets two points, okay, they're up to win the pot. The only thing that happens is if this person, let's say this person rolls again, right? Let's say they get an 11, an 11. Let's say they roll on an 11, right? 7 or 11 gives you a point. So this person's got two points right now. That means he's up for taking the pot, what's in the pot. Now, when someone gets a second point, you still go around once, okay? And if any of the players here get a 7 or 11, they counter this point and the guy loses this point and the dice goes back to this person, okay? So let's assume this guy got an 11, right? He's got two points. He's gonna win the pot as long as nobody else gets a seven or 11 when it gets the roll gets back to him, right? So let's assume this guy rolls, they get a four. Let's assume this guy rolls and they get a 12. If they get a 12, they have put twice the amount or match the ante into the pot. And then let's say I roll, I get an 11. If I got an 11, I cancel this guy's second point, and this guy's point goes away, and the dice goes back to him, and he gets to roll again, right? If he rolls an 11, if he gets a point, right, and this guy rolls, or this person rolls a seven, that negates this guy's point, and his point's gone, and dice go back to him, right? Is that clear? So basically on the second point, if anyone gets their second point, everybody else has a chance to cancel that point by rolling a seven or 11 and they get one roll, right? Unless they get doubles, right? So let's assume this guy got two points and this guy rolls and they get two fives, right? That doesn't do anything other than give this person a second roll. Okay, so this person can roll again. Let's say they get double ones, right? If they get double ones, that's the equivalent of the ante penalty. So they have to put two chips into the pot, right? So the pot is growing slowly, okay? Let's say they roll again and they get nine, right? So they finish their roll. They didn't get a seven or 11. This point stands the roll goes back to this person, okay? And if this person is rolling, if they get a seven or 11, it cancels this point and the dice goes back to him so he can roll again, okay? Now the other, oh, the other rule that's in play right now is if anybody gets three doubles, they're out of that round, right? So let's assume this guy had the points, the second point. This person gets two fives, right? And then they get two sixes. They get to roll again with two fives. And then they get two sixes, right? They have to put two more into the pot. They get to roll again. Let's assume they get another two sixes. If they get another two sixes, they gotta put the ante back into the pot again, right? But that's three doubles, they're out of that round, right? And then let's say I roll an 11. So I cancel this guy's point, right? And the dice goes to him. And right now, there's only three of us playing because this person got three doubles and they're out of that round, right? And then we continue this until someone gets two points and the other person can't cancel, and the other players can't cancel that point. And when the dice gets back to him, he takes the pot or the person takes the pot, okay? So to recap the rules, okay, let's return all, this, all these funds to these people, right? 
everybody gets their money back. Everybody should have the same amount. Everybody's got the same amount. We got two. Everybody's got two uh, chips in the pot, right? Now take a look at this. So we roll, I get to roll first, right? So the name of the game is, you roll to see who gets the highest number. The person who got the highest number gets to roll first. Each person gets one roll. If they get a seven or 11, that's a point, okay? If they get a double, they get to roll again. If they get three doubles in a row, they're out of that round, okay? If a person is on their second point, everybody else still gets one more turn per the rules. And if they get a 7-11, they cancel that person's point, and the dice goes back to the person that the point got canceled from. Okay, I hope that's clear. Now, the best way to learn a game is to play a game. So let's play a game, okay? So we rolled, I get to go first, right? So let's do the rolls, okay? And we're gonna use the blue chips to, um, to keep track of the points, okay? And again, keep this in mind, you could add variations into this, you could do side bets, what numbers come on the flop, you can make people, you know, if they get a double, they get to take money out of the pot, right? So you can give rewards for different types of numbers, right? Doubles would be a good, good place to give rewards from right you can bet side bet to see if a person can roll another number again right before seven comes up or before 11 comes up right or in general before seven comes up so there's a whole bunch of different variations you can add to this this is just a simplified version or the version that we ended up playing we actually added the little extra bit where you have to pay penalty if you get any of the crap numbers which is uh, 12 2 or 3 okay so we rolled, I got the highest number, I get to go first. I rolled two, right? I rolled snake eyes, okay? So I have to put two dollars or two chips into the pot. Oh, I got a double, I get to roll again, right? Eight, nothing happens. This person rolls, they get a five, nothing happens. This person rolls, or you guys roll, you get a three, you gotta pay penalty of half the ante. This person rolls, they get a five, nothing. 10, I roll, nothing. Eight, nothing. 12, yikes. You pay two chips penalty, and you get to roll again because you got a double. Oh, you get a three. Another half the ante penalty for you. This person rolls, six. I get double twos right that means I get to roll again seven I get a point okay so we'll use the blue chips to keep track of the points and you can increase the number of points for us we're playing whoever gets two points and no one cancels their second point wins the pot we could make this three points right because seven or eleven make a point so you could get you need three points to win the pot, and that just gives the pot more chance to grow, right? So I got one point, this person's roll. Ooh, snake eyes, right? So this person throws two chips, right? So the pot is already doubled. Ooh. Oh, he got snake eyes, so he got to roll again, and this person gets a seven, so they get a point as well. You're rolling, you got two fours, right? Nothing happens, unless you add the extra rule where if you get a double, you can take some money out, except for a two and a 12, because you gotta pay a penalty, right? You roll again, you get double fours again. If you get one more double, you're out of this round, right? Oh, and a five, no double, lucky. You stay in the game, right? This person rolls. Oh, they get a 12. Lots of penalties in this one. Wow, wow, wow. Right. The probability of rolling a 12 or a 2 is 1 out of 36, right? We talked about this in that video. Oh, a 2. Wow. On a craps table, if you were betting the horn numbers, you'd be doing pretty good right now. 
oh actually this person paid a penalty did they roll again i can't remember i lost track okay they rolled up 12 they paid a penalty no i think they roll another number again okay so right now i rolled a two i had to pay the penalty i got devils and now i rolled an 11 right if i made a mistake here please keep the rules in mind right so i rolled an 11 that's my second point okay now everybody gets one more roll unless they get a double and they get to roll again right if anybody in this round gets a 7 or 11 my points taken away okay and the dice comes back to me and i get to roll so right now all these three players these two players and you are rooting for me not to get a seven but for for you guys to get a seven or eleven either of you right because that takes away this point right so as soon as someone gets two points right everybody else is hoping that somebody gets a seven or eleven so this guy's roll ten they get to roll again they got a double a nine okay so they weren't able to kill kill off this point you roll a nine you weren't able to kill off my point this person rolls oh a seven look at this look at this the last person saves it so this kills off my point cancels my point and it's my roll anyway after this person right so i get to roll again my one point stays it's just that point that's taken off right you could add the rule that if you're on two points and someone cancels your point you lose both of them right you could add variations make it more difficult to win the pot right but right now we're playing with one point kills it okay kills one point the last one so my role i get to roll again i get seven again very nice very nice so here is my seven, right? So I'm back on two points again, and it's this person's roll. Oh, when they get a three, they have to put money in the pot. Your roll, a seven. You cancel my point, and the dice comes back to me. Okay, so the pot's growing, right? Nicely. My roll again, I get nine, nothing happens this person gets a seven nice nice and the dice rolled sideways right and the way it works is usually you make a decision at the beginning of the game dice that land on something sideways it's okay but if they land in a way where it's hard to decide which way the dice will fall if you remove the support right then you get to re-roll and i think that should be sort of the people on the table deciding what it is okay so this person gets a seven so they get their second point now we have the opportunity to take off this point right cancel this point by getting a seven or eleven if we don't the person wins the pot you roll oh you got a seven good job good job take a look you got your seven so this point is canceled and the dice goes back to this person again and they get to roll right so this person rolls eight you roll ten double fives you get to roll again nine nothing happens this person seven they're on the board as well so there's three people on the board right now you're not on the board yet you need to get on the board so this person got a seven my roll I get a three I gotta put a dollar or half the ante into the pot right this person rolls they get a six you roll you get a five this person a seven they're on the on the button right they got two points we have a chance to cancel that point okay ready my roll double threes i get to roll again right any doubles you get to roll again if i get three doubles in a row i'm out right Oop. an eight 
nothing happens. This person, it means seven or eleven. A five. Oh, you're it. If you can't cancel this, this person wins the pot. Ready? Eleven. Nice. Point canceled, right? Because seven and eleven is a point, right? Eleven. Good job. So the dice back to this person, right? This is a round that's taking a while. The pot keeps on growing. All right? Fun. So this person's roll. Ready? Five. Me. Seven. I get my second point. Sweet. This person. Six. Uh oh. You got a chance to cancel this. Eleven. You do, you do. So this was your roll. You got eleven. You canceled my point. Dice comes back to me. I go again. Six. Six. And remember, you canceling my point doesn't give you a point. Your eleven was used to cancel my point, not to give you a point. Right. You got a six. This person rolls. Double twos. They get to roll again. Five. My turn. Seven. Nice. That's a big pot. This person. Nine. All right. Your turn. Seven and eleven takes it away. Oh, you got a four. Check that out. All right. This person's roll. If they don't get a seven and eleven, I win this. All right. 11 oh cancel the point the dice comes back to me right seven again I get nice I'm back on the point right you guys get the chance to cancel this point five nope double twos you get to roll again Oh, a 10 doesn't do it, right? There's only one more chance to cancel this point. Oh, double twos, they get to go again. Ready? Oh, a seven, look at this, look at this. So lucky, so lucky. Cancels my point back to me, right? Eight, nine, your turn, five, this person, seven, they got the point, eleven, cancel their points, nice, all right, take a look, so I cancel their point, the dice goes back to them, oh, the guy gets, uh, Snake eyes, penalty, penalty. So he rolled doubles, or she rolled doubles. They get to roll again, right? A six, nothing. My turn. Oh, a 12, that's two. For me, I get to roll again because it's doubles. Nine, nothing. This person. Nine, nope. This person, or you guys. Oh, two ones, penalty, penalty. Lots of penalties this round. You get to go again because you got doubles. Oh, double ones again. Penalty, penalty. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, if you get one more double, you're out of this round. You do not want to be out of this round. You do not want to double, right? Oh, two and a one, another penalty, but at least you're still in the game, right? This is growing, growing, growing. Might have to bring more chips on the table, right? This person's roll. Five. My roll. Double twos. Seven. Nice. So double twos, I got to roll again. Now I got a seven. I got my second point. And right now, you can tell who's paid the most amount of fines, right? Which is you, because your stack is the lowest. I'm the second. This person's barely paid any fines. 
and this person's got one less than this person, right? So the fines add up. So I got a seven, I got my two points, one round of chance to cancel my win, right? This person rolls, 11, already gone, and the dice comes back to me. Okay, street crafts. I get double fives, I get to roll again. Six, nothing happens. Oh, this person gets a seven. Lucky, lucky. They get two points. Your chance to cancel this. Five, no. This person, oh, I got a bad feeling about this. A four, oh. Seven or 11. Oh, double fives. It's a double, I get to go again. Seven or 11. Oh, a nine. So this person took the, takes the pot, right? So let's see what they ended up making. Oh, that's a nice haul. So eight was the original bet, right? Let's see what happened. Nice haul, nice haul. Look at this. The pot almost tripled, one less chip. Not bad. So this guy just raked it in okay just totally raked it look at that so they doubled they started off with 25 chips now they got 51 because each each one of these stacks is a 10 right so they got 51 so they more than doubled their funds in one round not bad not bad okay and that round was a long round it usually doesn't last that long it usually goes a little bit faster but and there was a lot of fines involved that with like with that round right should we do one more okay let's do one more one more one more hopefully you don't run out of money if you run out of money we'll do something hopefully i don't run out of money if i run out of money we'll do something right so let's do this quick so there's eight in the pot eight chips and whoever wins gets to go again right because the dice was with them so this person won right because i rolled last to be able to cancel that the second point that they had i couldn't cancel it and according to the round where we're going it's their roll again right so this person rolls seven that's pretty sweet point right off the bat you roll ten nothing happens seven this person's on the board my roll seven i'm on the board that's nice this person rolls nine eight seven Ooh, they got the point right so that's their second point we get a chance to cancel right seven or eleven six nope this person seven cancels it. this guy's doing good so they cancel this one, the dice goes back to this person. Ooh. They get a 10. Okay. My roll. Eight. Ooh, 12. This person pays a fine. And they get to roll again. Six. Your roll. 10. This person. Eight. 10 nine you roll oh with three one more penalty oh your stack's getting low right this person six twelve oh yeah 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 my stack is getting low right <laughs> i get to roll again i got doubles six ten this person got doubles they get to go again eight you roll nine okay this person seven they got two points right when you gotta cancel it ten double fives i get to roll again five nothing this person rolls a nine they got a nine nothing you're it you're the only one that can cancel that point right seven or eleven 
Oh, six. Nada. This person wins, they grab the pots. Right? Two, four, six, eight. And this one, only five more grew in the pot. Okay? Not bad. Not bad. So right now, the losers of this uh, of this game, two rounds we played so far, are me and you, right? These two players have uh, are definitely ahead of the game, right? And this is sort of street craps, uh, something that just recently made it my way, and I liked it. It was a good way to pass the time if you're having a little downtime. Uh, if someone, if you're, you know, we're playing Monopoly um, last weekend, I guess, and. One person had to take a lot of breaks and we're sort of sitting around, we chatted, we caught up and stuff like this. And um, there was time on our hands, so we started playing this and it was fantastic and I thought you'd appreciate it, you'd like it if you're into dice games anyway, quick dice games. And again, you could add variations into this. You could make side bets, do things on the, on the flop, see if someone's gonna take your bet, right? You could play, you could, you could make a bet of one chip, you know, get double fives on the flop. That's one out of 36 chance. And if someone takes you up on it, they would have to bet a pretty big stack against your one, against my one, right? Because the probability of getting double fives is one out of 36, the so same as double sixes, right? So, you know, theoretically speaking, one should fetch you 25, uh, 35, 36, right? Depending on how you look at it, right? So there's a... Uh, uh, there's uh, there's different types of bets you can make on the side as well. And we'll take a look at that stuff once we uh, finish off series on uh, series four of the language of mathematics with units and ratios. And once we start the series with how to play crafts, we'll take a look at those probabilities and see what the payouts are and stuff like this, right? Fun little game. If you like dice, fun little game, fun little game. A lot of board games are based on dice. So this is sort of a, a very simple version one right i hope you enjoyed if you end up playing it um and good luck i hope you win whatever it is that you're betting on right that's it for now i'll see you guys in the next video